So last time on Rokalem, our group was uh, deep in Tally's, well, one of the f her facilities. I'm not even sure if she has more than one. Who knows? Uh, you never ask a woman uh, about her facilities. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, as they were deeply investigating, uh, they are eventually uh, intercepted by uh, Diana and Ravik, who technically they haven't met yet, but have met yet in oops. We met Ravik. Mistakes. No, you have never met Ravik in this campaign. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, we have. have. Quite a no, few times. I don't yeah, think I oh, really yeah. met him a few Ravik times. Oh yeah, I have a now. book of his. We recruited him some Kaiko's oh. book then. No, Most likely. we've never before. Let me think. Was it? Let me think was when it, it was. Mother? We came back, and he was on the dock. We both Ravik and he got pointed towards him, and we were like, "Hey, Ravik, you want to come back to our base and hang out?" And he was like, "Sure." Okay. Uh, that might have happened what way too long ago for me to remember that. Then I knew I was. Vader was still in the group. He got sonar towards him by his mass fake master. Anyway, uh, yeah. so the two of them warned that uh, a group of more mercenaries have managed to still track their lo location despite their movement, so uh, that seems to be a constant issue. And even their mercenaries have started to bring on some of their own creatures, so it Not seems right. to be even some more... Uh, well, <sighs> not really sure why that's the case. Who knows? what reasons they could possibly have for joining, but here we are. Here we are again. Here we are again. Last I remember, Tally, we had just leveled up, and Tally oh, was in yeah. the process of teleporting. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, did... Did you level up, Dragon? <sighs> Dragon? That we were actually doing Level that. obsession? You're uh, muted. Because uh -oh. I just sort of assumed that we were going to be stuck listening to this president's speech. Oh, yeah. That is one thing I did want to apologize for last session. If that came across as any sort of railroadiness, I do apologize on my behalf for that. Apology no, accepted. Wait, I, I, I didn't I'm what's going think on. of it that way, but apology accepted. Didn't want to listen to a speech. <laughs> but yeah, shoot, I totally forgot we weren't going to do that, and we're going to do something else, or else I would have contacted you, Tom. Sorry. I like thought about it three times, and then every time I was like, no, wait, we're doing the other thing. It's fine. I helped them find some maps. Uh, during our downtime. Or at least one. Yeah. Which was good enough. Sure. And at this time, Fleetwood, during tran <laughs> during teleportation, uh -huh. achieves his giant might. Oh, that's and, right. Uh, and I will, I will present it the moment we, uh, we end teleportation. Oh no. <laughs> oh, so should I, should I jump us to the next new map that I was given then? Is that the idea? Mm. I'm just checking. <laughs> Is uh, that what you I guys think, are doing? I think that's your choice. Well, I was wondering where you guys are teleporting to exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah. sorry. And I would have talked to you if I remembered we were actually doing that. Um... Hang on, I can find a visual aid super fast. Uh, we're clearly teleporting to the basement? Basically, um... So, those of you who have played Portal 2, <laughs> going all the way down. Uh, slaps a visual So let's go to the second layer of this hell, I mean research I lab. I not played Portal 2. Uh, what, is it, what is wrong with you people? <laughs> I, I have horror. not played it, but I've seen uh, I've seen complete gameplay of it. Not that portal three <laughs> all the time. 
I was just like, ah, I've played enough of the, this. I've played enough of Portal with Portal. I just didn't want to play more Portal. And it just seemed like it was more Portal. So I was like, eh, I'm hey, good. Tom, what's your mat? What's your, uh, what are your grids set to? Uh, I don't know. What's the if grid? If you look in the map setting, you'll t you can see. Yeah, because uh, this is see. a 30 by 30 I, map. I believe it's usually set to be 25 by 25 uh. at base. Uh, but let's do some quick maps, shall we? Uh, that's 140, oh. so 100... It's a 28... Oh, yeah, it's a 28 by 28. So... You just need to increase the grid size by 2. Yeah. Which, that's a Link. that's a very easy fix. Uh, why Go I into the Maps that? tab and press the settings of that particular map. And then you'll see a grid... Let's see. Okay. Oops. Oh, that's not what I wanted at all. Uh, let's see. Duplicate. No. No, I didn't get rid of it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Width, height. Uh, Dude, both increase those. Uh, there should be a little today. tab up above that says um, it's a little pull down tab. Change it to units. Uh, pull down tab. Let's see. Okay. You can also like, just okay. type in the units. So 30 by 30. Oh, 30 width by 30 height. Yes. Yes. Okay. Hey, and then you just that. need to go to map layer and just um, uh, grow this. Yeah. Sometimes, I I've noticed sometimes. Hmm. <sighs> There that seems go. to be 29 by 29. Oh. Uh. I think that worked. 145. Yeah, that's 29 by 29. So, one more in each. Uh. Oh, weird. Why did it not do that, then? I did 30 by 30. Why did it not... Aww. Not even a fuck. Oh wait, let me let me try something actually. Cause we might be doing this stupidly. Uh give me a quick second. Eh. Us? No way. <laughs> me and me and Storm, I mean. Okay, no, it's a thirty oh, there by thirty. We go. Okay. Perfect. It, we darling. were one off because we Uh so yeah, Tom, mm. uh just stretch a map out by one. There we go. Like the actual picture of the map. And now, there you go. And then over by one. Uh. Yeah, you can do it. Over you can by do one. it uh, by diagonal. Yeah. Okay. You need to pull the cross uh. by one. Okay. Yep, there we go. There we go. Let's be here. Hallelujah. Solving the problem. So Got where do we start? Eventually. Let's if go you... up here. So proud uh, of you. Sh shift and hold click. Okay. Oh. Up in this upper corner over here. Whoa. That I... is the focus thing. I can work with that as Fleetwood. <sighs> Tom will need to adjust your size. Yes. So are you getting to large size now? Oh yeah, it was like right as we were teleporting, Fleetwood was like, "I I feel strange. I feel oh shit." <laughs> Solius Sorry, turned around to see what that was a big old lightning strike that actually flared out in the sky. Ooh. Oh, I can, oh, I can tell you. I'll tell you a story about lightning after the. Oh, I might have told you guys this before, but whatever. Uh. Okay, okay. back to what I said. He was like, um. It's like I feel back to I funny he who's and says scary uh oh. I feel strange. I feel unusual. <laughs> I Martin feel powerful. And then there was like an explosion of confetti the moment we teleported. <laughs> Boo! 
is you know like large as in like you know like five foot five or is he like actually like six foot uh he is he takes up a bigger ten than... foot by ten foot square yeah no bigger than six foot like Jeez. he's probably so, like standing at, at ten feet right now That's... so as That's we right. teleport on in Fleetwood is now yeah he now towers above everyone including Sully or including yes yeah, Solius and um he now has a massive pompadour Solius looked at this at the Whoa. now large Fleetwood also Tom could you make him a 2x2 two two square what's the theme song oh it is straight like Johnny Bravo like Elvis Presley as he is like tapping his heel, and he was he is striking a fucking pose, as he suddenly swings on over to you, Silver and Nakamura. Uh, now this is what I call a real shindig here, gentlemen. <laughs> gentlemen, why don't you give me some skin? As he gives you like the craziest high fives, like. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stardust Crusaders like <laughs> like handshake except it's the two of you at the same time also uh, so, so he turns around to see this and just like oh my god Fleetwood you've gone through puberty better than that I went through handsome tivity I didn't register any uh, anomalies Speechless. with the teleportation, but I believe something has gone terribly wrong. <laughs> uh, speechless, I return the high five. Oh, it's uh, like it's like uh, forearm to forearm, uh, upper bump, lower bump, fist bump, um, touch your toes. <laughs> and it's with it's with Nakamura and Silver at the exact same time. And Fleetwood's Ugh. gonna look on over at you, Tally. Don't you worry about a thing, Fembot. This is not what I'd call an abnormality. This is what I call <laughs> an improvement. Shall I tranquilize him? <laughs> I... <laughs> Raise his arm. I can't believe that. I can't believe it. I don't think it would Talk. work. Storm's character is affected by, like, canvas. <laughs> <laughs> or like Elvis, like Elvis. El Elvis the Ropey. <laughs> no, that's called Hound Dog Ropey. <laughs> Regardless, he wanders bow, on over. To, she wanders on over to Solius, puts you in a headlock, and gives you a love it like a brotherly noogie. Can I walk one against you for that? Now, what sort of foul contraptions have we found ourselves in? So, can I roll athletics against you again to by putting me in that headlock? I get advantage on my strength checks to do this. You're lucky I'm not raging, or I don't have advantage. You, you're too confused to rage right now. Yeah. Exactly. So, so let's see what I get. Oh, Ooh, that's a three on the die. Oh, that's an eleven. Oh, 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 oh. Gonna give the ball a noogie. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna do a little boogie. Oh, 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 oh. So what's your athletics roll? Hold on, I gotta do the athletics. I gotta do it all. Doesn't the Giants might only last for... He should have guidance for this, too. <laughs> I'm just saying the guidance of the king it lasts for one you minute but I can do it a number I can do it for a number of times equal to three times my proficiency modifier wait what? oh wait a minute no wait they changed it equal, that to, does your, not... equal to your proficiency uh, bonus I was gonna say that did not sound right but it lasts for one minute okay I wonder where the three Never mind. But 19. You got that nookie hound dog. Now I strut away. Levasque I'm not side. a dog. He just, <laughs> he just starts <laughs> pushing forward. 
All right, I think I think we'll let him lead the way while he's feeling so confident. Title of the episode: Fleetwood is the alpha male. And he is gonna take steps all the way up here, turn and look at you all. I have no idea where I'm going. Oh, follow me! Go right ahead, you fi- you slick cat. <laughs> But okay. So, I take it we've just been teleported. (laughs) Yes, to the long-term storage facility. Uh, Where the backup generator is stored. Okay. And as we pass over this, this is probably like a row of pods full of filled with robots that are pretty similar looking to Tally with random variations. Uh, yeah, this is like a this is like a below like conveyor yeah. belt. It looks like. Solius is gonna lean over to to Fleetwood <laughs> and. Actually, he's gonna ask if he could sit on Fleetwood's shoulder first. And uh, yeah, tell you, you know that this is like the main power source, this uh, generator-looking thing. What'd you say? It's uh, very small, but okay. Oh, I was just gonna say Fleetwood. Uh, Fleetwood holds you like a uh, bridal style. He's going. <laughs> <laughs> now this is what I call taking home the beef. I get on his shoulder and start to sit on it. And I just start whispering in Fleetwood's ear. Is this how baby robots are made? (laughs) Now that's what I call an entire line of CPUs. Computerized pretty units. Hey Tom. Yeah? You mean that's like the backup generator or the power source of the entire facility? Uh, we'll say it's like a backup generator. Okay. It makes sense for the bolt. <coughs> but yeah, just just a bunch of robots in storage, non-activated. I need to go for my upgrades. Okay. Do break anything? I'm fascinated <laughs> to see what the, what that looks like. Lead the way. Uh, <laughs> past the giant Fleetwood, <laughs> who is striking, oh. who is striking poses. He can get like crushed after he turns with back. A, with a with a Solius sitting on his shoulder, so we we look like an Elvis impersonator mixed with a pipe. <laughs> Hey, Tally, out of a curiosity, can they upgrade me to look even more handsome than I already am? <laughs> I do not think that is the purpose of this facility. You're right. Nobody can make me more handsome than I am right now. <laughs> Pulls out a comb and tries to brush back his pompadour, but it goes, it, it reaffirms itself. <laughs> You know, I haven't gotten around to teaching him that one of the tenets of Bushida is humility, I don't think. Maybe respecting women? <laughs> <laughs> not a chance. No, no, that's not in there. That's definitely not in there anywhere. <laughs> respecting who now? <laughs> did you, and respecting women, did you mean to type men? <laughs> Did you mean to tap myself? It, it, in the Bushido cold, yeah, in the Bushido you know, code, uh, all men are created equal. Men that capitalize. No, it's... I was just thinking about feudal Japan. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think women had a lot of respect then. No. Well, some did. Very... I, the the uh, nobles, I, nobility did. I think it was well, gen- I, I think it was part, generally right? supposed I, I think it was generally supposed to be that you were supposed to be courteous to women, but that but that was pretty much it. Yeah, chivalry. 
Well, they weren't that far off from knights. I will say, yeah, this is a great time to. I know I'm not like shilled to do so, but I'm just gonna say, Shogunite's a great show. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. I've never watched it. I I intend to check check it out. Hallie steps in front of the door and gets scanned, probably, and let through. Yeah. You guys seem to be wandering off, so. Where, wait, where'd she? Where'd you go? Over. Or... She's all the way on the other side. We're not wandering off. You're not. You're you're. Our tour oh, yeah, guide is going it. off on a different. Straight away, while y'all were Elvising. I'm tabbed <laughs> out. I'm tabbed out, and you're moving your character. I was gonna say progressing the story. <laughs> also, I was gonna say earlier if if this place was running, I just imagine the fucking uh the music from the chop shop and robots. <laughs> and I believe you can squeeze through these one lane places. I think it's difficult terrain, but I think you can. You need to roll uh, acrobatics to walk the tightrope. Uh, 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 oh, yeah. Uh, guess it's this way. Oh, I'm not moving. I'm just. I, I'm on shoulders. <laughs> oh, he's just on his shoulders, yeah. Hold yeah, on, so I'm, I'm not gonna, using any movement. I'm gonna have to duck down. Drunk. Wait, did it duck? Where? Doors, however. <laughs> Do I duck under it? Uh, we'll say mm, you managed. I don't know. You managed to barely, like your hoop, your the tip of your horns just barely like scrape the uh the top there, but you managed. So, to so I imagine you guys just. Enough. I bet you guys should start hearing a grinding <laughs> sound. When is the most comedic moment for one minute to be up? <laughs> <laughs> when I'm when I'm doing the knee slide through the doors, <laughs> <laughs> and I do I was and I do say during the scanning room right here, <laughs> <laughs> and there's a sound like a like a balloon deflating as Fleetwood is like mid air. And face plants. <laughs> oh, oh, oh god! Then so, uh, yeah, then you then you then yeah, uh, fleet which then you then hear. Uh, uh, five, uh, fifteen feet. You fall. You fall fifteen feet. You take five feet of fall damage. <laughs> As Solia just lands on you. No. And I will also uh, just say that these uh, things, I guess they're meant to be pods or whatever, so I, I guess these... They're like base stations. Steps into one. Oh. We could go away. And a bunch of mechanical uh, arms come down and start... A so, we just, there. so I just Probably. step into one of these and I receive upgrades. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. I place uh, yeah, my katana in the no <laughs> <laughs> upgrade. No, 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 no. So, it's simple. You just... no, it's simple. He gets an upgrade. He gets a he gets better quality of life. He's he's got the Gunrunners DLC, so he gets the scabbard for it. Increases. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Nakamura. The upgrade come. Cops, I mean, uh, do you, cops, do you yeah. truly want to put your blade in there? I'll leave that up to you, Nakamura or uh, Gypsy. Um, I will attempt to have it upgrade my laser pistol. I put my laser pistol in, and I see what happens. All right, we'll have fun with that. <laughs> uh, sorry, Nakamura. As soon as you put your laser pistol in, it's it's easy. it says you need seven ninety nine for the horse armor. <laughs> Oh no. Uh, when Tally steps in her pod, I imagine the little bank of computers probably lights up and, like, confirms her identity and starts downloading shit. Yeah. I imagine, uh, like, a screen would light up when he sticks his gun in there and, like, question marks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'm just experimenting here. <laughs> yeah. You can go select things at the terminal. It's probably not automated for unidentified gun. 
<laughs> now talk like the is is there a one. terminal? Over outside of the little upgrade thing, probably. Oh, okay, I wasn't I wasn't sure what this this was. It's an MRI scanner. Uh, put your hand inside the box, Polytrates. <laughs> Oh, huh? Weird. Why is why is everything on? Why does everything in this lab say that it's owned? Let's try pressing owned buttons. By, why is everything in this lab say that it's owned by a man named T. Howard? And it works. It like, just works. I'm just like spinning around in a wheelie chair. And he's just like, oh, I wouldn't. <laughs> Probably something pops up on Tally's screen too about that unresolved error. Yeah. Four oh four, not found. Blue screen. And I will also say for uh, you, Tally, that you, uh, because this facility is probably also simultaneously used for other purposes, you do get like all these alternative, like, ooh, you could hunt down creatures as a robot, because that was one of their. Functions, technically speaking. She's a terraforming robot. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying it's it's multi. This facility would have been multi-purpose. So oh, like, he's it's he, multi he, options. Yeah, he's he's, he's saying you're a modular unit who has all only ever been configured for terraforming. He's but a, the options were. He's well, asking he's if you want to get into your, the automated process. He's asking if you want to give yourself the racism upgrade. Do you do you do you want the hate speech add-on? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you guys would be responsible. Do you want a micro? Alexa, do you want no. a microaggression DLC? Do you, do you want the ability to act to commit a microaggression as a reaction? <laughs> <laughs> so what? Get South Park fractured butthole? I, oh, I no. leave it entirely in y'all's hands if you press that button. We, I won't, I won't force you to become something you don't want to be. <laughs> oh, man, but I for my gun, on the other hand, <laughs> is gun oh, yes. <laughs> No, wait, no, that's not what I meant. <laughs> when, when people say, turn against creatures because specifically, <laughs> when people say, when people say that guns don't kill people, they've never. <laughs> Then Nakamura's gun against a creature it becomes a terraforming gun. <laughs> Ooh, cool. That's actually kind of a sick idea. You get the terraforming gun from the games from the, the spell shape Earth. No, I I was gonna say you get the terraforming gun from from when Subnautica was still in beta. All right, I'll say at this point, uh, your processings and updates will be complete at this juncture. Okay. Nobody wants to check out that error or anything. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, I'm I'm here at the computer. I'm poking buttons, but I'm waiting. I'm waiting to be told what happens, or to make Especially a roll. You or know how this machine works? Nope. I don't. I don't know. You tell me. I'm not the damn. <laughs> I said I want to interact with the computer. <laughs> The computer, unfortunately, runs on the backup generator. The, the, uh, these things seem to operate on something else completely. Oh. Uh, then is this where the readout is? Or can, uh, I, can I read out the things that are happening in these pods? Yeah, or? I'll say like, this is like a results screen, I guess, or... Or info screen, I guess, is a better way of putting yeah. that. Okay. I start punching buttons. Her error comes up on there, I guess, and also the option to be able to sense creatures. Question mark. Click, click, click. Would you like the race radar? And then uh, a few minutes later, I'm in the mainframe. You I'm need, in. Uh, you get a thing for your gun, and it says upgrade gun with a question mark. Yeah, why? Why, 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 why? I'm hitting the Y button. <laughs> it replies, because. <laughs> Alright, so. Yeah, that all resolves itself. So, uh, tell you at this point, you can step out. 
the I kind of want to see finished. what would happen if I put my mom Grenade, in. Grenade, get over here! Sorry. Please. Put your gun in that pod! <laughs> <laughs> what, what's going on here? I'm are we putting stuff in uh, these stupid things? Uh, well, I wouldn't put anything that isn't a machine. Okay, put your mall in a fucking tube. The mall is not a machine. Isn't your I mall just that. like a cinder block? Yeah, it's it's literally a piece of rebar with a. Oh, yeah, it's a piece of rebar with a cinder block at the end. <laughs> And he just puts that in, and he's like, upgrade it. And the AI is like, uh, uh. I said to upgrade it. Puts a handle on it. <laughs> there you go, bud. Has Fleetwood just been turned into a pancake? Fleetwood has been, like, as Sully has just kind of wandered away. Fleetwood kind of got up and just looked around. He looks like he has no recollection of the past minute. Like he has the worst hangover. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Guys? Guys? Oh, God, where am I? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, Robotic my hell. Um, uh, well, everyone in this room roll an Arcana check, I guess, then. <laughs> sure. Sure. An arcana check, you say? Yeah. Four! Womp womp. I'm scared. Ba bam. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Oh, well, Nakamura, this makes perfect sense for you since you put your gun in there. You sense magic emanating from your gun now. What the flip? Uh, did Cartanian also follow through? Oh, yeah, I put it in there. Okay. So is it just for his gun, or...? Uh, hey, hey, you know what? Who knows? I'm curious. How does a machine make something magical? I want my hammer to be magical so I can... So I can hit things better. my robot. Do you hear a... Do you hear something... Uh... A voice emanate from somewhere, say... I don't know. Do huh? you all hear that, or just Nakamura? Uh, roll perception check. To hear. Oh, alrighty. Perception. Oh, that's persuasion. Whoops. Um. <laughs> I'm Seventeen. Yeah, you both hear it. Hey, who said that? Yeah, I'm sword. Like, okay, uh, I start to pull out my mo. <laughs> I don't even wait for the tube to to lower. I literally smash through the glass and grab my ball. Yeah, I make a passive. My passive perception is oh, so high. Uh, Just breaking the shell. It's not like it's gonna ruin everything. You look at your gun, and it seems to have spoken out loud. Oh no! That's what you get. Nice, dude. You got the gun from Cyberpunk 2077. What? 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 Did my you... gun just talk? Did I just talk? Is that what this is? Do we all hear the voice? Yeah. I'm not crazy, right? Uh, let me check. Hello, can you speak to me? Talks to his mall. Your mall doesn't respond, but you hear uh, Nakamura's gun, I guess, at this point, say, Oh, <laughs> I hear other voices. What's going on? You're a gun. You're not supposed to be able to talk. I think uh, at one point, maybe, but you may have changed that. Gun will outlive us all. <laughs> I um. Good point. I kind of hold the gun. Not, I, I like I'm holding the gun, not like how how to describe it. Like you're holding the barrel and you're holding it flat in your hand, rather yeah. than holding the. 
and I'm like holding it up to my ear. I'm like <laughs> shaking it. I'm like, is there some? Is there a little guy in here or? Uh, no, you're just shaking me entirely. The gun can get disoriented. What is your n name? Well, I was just created, so I don't have a name, I guess. <sighs> I think its name is Gun. I see. Hold on. Uh... I, I have a possible name. This is talking oh. gun. You can name it. Yeah, I know. Here we go. Here's the picture I was thinking of. Then I'm... Alright. Yeah, oh. I was oh, thinking Oh, of I know! One. Hold on, I know this. Hold on, hold on. Trevor. Trevor. Trevor the gun. What was the what was the name of of what the 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 samurai that has the the lone child the lone samurai that has the oh, child oh um lone wolf and <coughs> lone wolf and cub uh Miyamoto Musashi. Yeah. No, that's from Sekiro. No. Wolf. He's, uh... Wolf taking along his child. Ogami Ito. What's that from? It's literally from the one wolf and the cub. Oh. About a, it's about a samurai who carries around yeah. a kid in, like, a little... little Stroller. Ah, that's awesome. You know what? We'll just follow, uh. Uh, Okami Dai Daikoro is his name. Uh, I'm going to name him. Oh, hold on. There it is. Usagi Yojimbo. Oh. No, no, that's not what I'm naming him. Sorry, that's the series that I was thinking of. <laughs> the the one that was adapted into the freaking Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Yes, it was later on. Yeah, that's, nice. that's a reference. That this this is a classic. This is like an '80s. Nice, nice. So, who are you trying to think of? All right. Yeah, we'll name we'll name him Daigoro. Oh. So his name is Daigoro. There you go. Daigoro the gun. I give you the name Daigoro. You're new to this world, but I've been carrying carrying this gun with me for some time. Thing so I can have it. I can't like hold up. <laughs> he's so uh, does is he like is he? Uh, you might have a chance to abort if you want to, but he, your gun is in there. <laughs> my my mall is still in there as well. Man, you smashed the class and destroyed one of the upgrade pods. I that was a joke. That was 100% <clears throat> a joke. Alright, nah. so mm. you have your talking gun now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I like there double check the computer quick and see if there's a option of upgrades, be it talking gun or possibly, <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> higher velocity. 
So this pod, <laughs> after after that load of nonsense, it seems to be completely fried. So that one's completely out of order. So you're technically using the second one at this point. And I'm using the fourth one. Oh my gosh. So I'm I'm continuing to monitor this. Um, Can you make the settings on all the rage? Yeah. <laughs> What was that, cat? You're gonna make it so Tally can never level up again. <laughs> hey, gu hey, guys! I think I might have overloaded the system somehow. Maybe it's dangerous to be trying to do this. No, I don't think it's very dangerous. I just mall still soaking in. Water. Could you take your mall out of there, please? No, yeah, I want. I wanted to be upgraded. Um, I understand. Let's see. Hold on, give me a second to put on some stuff here. Not a character. I... Even if it's just uh, like this counts as a magical weapon, I would be happy. Because I have no way of dealing magic damage. I, I, I don't right. think it's even that. Uh, yeah. You, uh, the prompt, the same prompt comes up f uh, a few minutes later for a uh, dragon's gun. So you can say yes to that if you want to. Uh, let's do no. Looking at frying the console isn't exactly my goal. Today. I, uh, I hit um, N and enter. <laughs> I'm not really speaking of what does the prompt say exactly? Uh, like I'm curious about that. It's an upgrade gun question mark? Yeah, it's the same. It's an upgrade question mark. But you're not even sure if it will have the same effects or not. <laughs> oh, uh, you put it like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hold on. Wait. Um, uh, that might have been a slip of my words. Whoops. We <laughs> just don't know. Okay, someone say hi or low. Hi. Okay, if it's high, I'm going with the upgrade. No, never mind. Not happening. Alrighty then. Oh my god. That's a little exactly you get. One. That is a sign. Alright, after some time, you do technically get a upgrade question mark on the mall. Oh, I really had to so, think about that one, huh? <laughs> as soon as it's upgrade, he grabs... He is going... <laughs> He is actually going to do have to press that Y for you. You can't read, can you? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Does it say... Did you say that... Didn't you just say it upgrades, or... Is yeah, it, it asking? It's, 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 it's asking, so it's prompting the question. Uh, Nakamura, <sighs> what does these what funny words say? <sighs> well, here it says upgrade. And then that question mark means... It's asking you to confirm if you want to proceed or not. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, let's do it. Alright, since this is your uh, weapon, roll a 1d4. Oh boy. Let's see what it does to a fucking piece of rebar and, and concrete. <laughs> Oh, uh, you never asked Gypsy to roll a D four. That's because uh, these the, oh, each of these had a different like thing going on. That's why. Oh, it's fine. Uh, anyway, uh, so as you uh, say yes, and the uh, mall comes back out, it doesn't look like your typical mall anymore. It looks like it's covered in ice. Huh. I grab it? I mean, it feels normal to your touch when you hold on to it. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna try something. Walked out. He's gonna <laughs> swing at, this, at one of the wheeling chairs. Okay, you can uh, roll your attack. Oh boy! <laughs> uh, ignore the minus five. That's a nineteen. Uh, well, since it's an anim an animate object, you uh hit the stool, 
and you watch as your as your weapon makes contact with it, and then it immediately freezes over. Oh snap! Cold snap. All right. While he while they're having fun, you know, looking at their rifle, Nakamura gets that detective rifle. Or what? Sniper. You said looking at my rifle. Yeah, his his rifle. Yeah, Vexpear's got a rifle. Oh. It was, is it your pistol? Okay, it's a pistol. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking of Curtanian. Yeah. Or I'm thinking of Curtain. Um, right now. No, I wouldn't fit the... Pipe. Fair enough. I think never lost it, but please continue. Gotcha. Okay, well, while they're looking at their weapons... I'm snooping. It's snoop time. You don't think I forgot about that error message I saw. I'm going back up through the logs to investigate that. Hey, her thing's still going on. Clicky, click, 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 click. <laughs> I'm trying to request elaboration on the... It is. ...upgrade track that she's on and... Or uh, it's on. The upgrade track appears to be um, enhancing her healing capabilities mostly. Ooh, but uh, the error, uh, which has a query to attempt to rectify, appears to be a communications error, error with uh, sort of the central hub. Hmm. Not uh, isn't sure if he should fiddle with that. If she reestablishes connection with the central hub, w or if it establishes connection with the central hub, would it lose its sentience? Lose its independence? And return to just... You know, I'll pr get back on program or whatever. You never talk to any other terraforming robots. <laughs> I'm. I take out my note pad and I start scribbling things down. I'm. I'm documenting all of these things to show Dally later. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I don't I prompt it not to try to correct the error alright it uh, ceases waiting to time out and just vanishes and her upgrades continue as pre-programmed to do she'll eventually uh, complete and pop out of the pod upgrades complete <laughs> Tally, what kind of do you think you can have with a gun? Probably ones about aiming? Hmm. Okay. Did I miss something? <laughs> Looks at the yeah. fried bud. Yeah. Mr. Nakamura! Yeah. Can I tell me yeah, what's going on with this? Hold out my mull? I uh, smacked one of those chairs and it got right, really what ugly. What are you all doing? Okay, that's what yours did. What about you, Mr. Vexpear? Uh, I backed out before I wanted a talking gun. Okay. Well, let me take a look at this mall. I just hold it out for you. No! Uh... <laughs> 17. What does that tell him, tell him Tom? Uh... You know, with the, uh, you will, uh, well, add an additional, uh, cold damage, so just an additive, like, base 1d8 for cold damage. Uh, 
Nice. Very nice. And now, as a bonus action, you can technically, I know this is, isn't typically a thing that you can do, but under this weapon, as a bonus action, you can cast a spell, quote-unquote, that will allow you to do as you just did and freeze the target if they fail your... Uh, I'm guessing it's a constitution save? Yeah. Uh, what is the DC? Usually for items, it is a flat DC. It doesn't go up with, like, proficiency and stuff like that. Yeah, I would probably say it's flat, so flat would be 10, right? Uh, no. So you basically can make a number based off... You could say 10, 12, 13, 15. Uh, I'll say for now, it's, uh, pretty low. It'll be 13, but it... You do get the sense, or I should say Nakamura gets the sense that you can... Get the possibility to upgrade it to do better. Uh, well, better than that, slightly. Well, uh, this is a fine, this is a fine weapon you've got here. I smile. I know I made it myself. Notice here that they've the pot has managed to balance the weight, so it's no longer like an improvised. It feels more manufactured now, and it's got some... It looks like every time you hit, it's going to a... Some of the cool is going to leak out and damage whatever you hit. But you can actually consciously try to release the cold to flash freeze your enemies. No. But I it'll don't... take a little more effort than just hitting them. Your weapon received a cryonics up upgrade? Yeah, and my gun talks! <laughs> now, now, I have a question, Tom, about that. Your yeah. weapon has been imbued with artificial intelligence? I point Daigoro at... Um, Tally. And I'm like, Say hi! Hello. <laughs> Just shoot. <laughs> 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 the safety's on. Speak <laughs> gun. Bang, bang. I do not understand the advantage of having a gun with artificial intelligence installed. I don't either. Well, but also, not everything that happens in the world is about advantage. Uh, sorry, Tom, really quick question. Yeah. Uh, regarding the mall, is it now considered a magical weapon for... The sake of bypassing magical resistance. It, it must uh, yes. Be. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. How are you going to do magic damage, magical frost damage, and not be magic? That'd be crazy. Science. Pure frost, yeah. Science damage. Science! Okay. Science! Oh, science. Tally, I, I wanted to bring something to your attention. Are you aware that there is a an error in your programming right now? Yes, the error that I mentioned before. Right. You're aware of the nature of this problem. It is an unresolved error in my communications. Communications with what exactly? With this facility. It doesn't seem like you're having any trouble. You're able to teleport here and receive upgrades. That is a separate part of communications. I'm not receiving any orders currently. Uh, let's see. Mm. What kind of orders did you used to perceive? Mm, mostly orders to terraform specific sectors, or which sort of terraforming to do in certain areas. Or what teams to join up with to do specific types of terraforming. But then I stopped receiving any orders, and all of the teams dispersed. All right, I have a few follow-up questions here. Then he flips another page in his little handheld notebook. 
his detective notebook and he's scratching things out theories that he had he's scratching them out and now he's ready to add new ones okay i have a few follow-up questions for you here first off who set out the who was um the planner who was setting up the strategy for how you were you know you know you were receiving orders but who was deciding what the orders would be the first human settlers set up a sort of scan to determine the best steps forward in terraforming the planet. And I have since been uh, following that plan in order to make the planet habitable for humanoid beings, carbon based life forms, and as opposed to based life forms, like myself. And during your experience as a terraforming unit, did you notice any deviations from that original terraforming plan? Did your orders ever change or adapt to the situation? Depending on what new scans revealed about how our terraforming efforts were proceeding, we would make adjustments in order to more efficiently terraform areas. Did you make the adjustment, or did your orders adjust? We would send the scanning data back to the central hub, and they would make adjustments and risk and send out new orders. Yeah, situation report. That makes me think that there's some kind of artificial intelligence involved here that you would have been communicating with. Not a simple set of pre-programmed instructions. Yes. Okay. And, uh, let me see here. How long ago, uh, did you receive your last order before your communications error began? Um, approximately the amount of time that would make sense for first human settlers coming here and requirements of getting oxygen working on the planet and making it somewhat habitable. On the arc ships, we just used Earth cycles. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't know the timeline anymore. I tell you, I thought it was like hundreds of years old, but... <laughs> but how long? Well, I don't know. Uh, long enough for this facility to fall into some level of disrepair. But also for the planet to obviously be habitable. Okay. Math. A math amount of time. <laughs> okay. It's been a Great. While. I'm glad I'm glad a month later we've nailed down the lore. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I have thought of a name for my weapon. Oh yeah. W what's yours? I'm calling it I'm calling it Black Eyes. Love it. Okay. For those who don't know, black ice is basically when ice is super clear that you don't see it on the road. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm from Wisconsin. I know, but <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm writing. I'm writing. I'm jo I'm jotting things down. I'm like, okay. So there's an AI. You, uh, currently, you're not communicating with it. It's been X years since you've communicated with it. In your time since your last communication, have you encountered any other androids that used to be a part of this program? No. Only when I come to upgrades. They're all dormant, save you. Correct. They must have been recalled. Oh. Possible theory. Have you considered that the only outstanding order that you would receive if communication resumed was to go into standby? Potentially. Right, Are that's you not. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Who needs to solve these problems? Not every mystery needs to be solved. <clears throat> Did you find a way to repair my error? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Deception check. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Uh, 
<laughs> something happened. Uh, my recording screen decided to go into my break time screen. I don't know why. So I'm just gonna stop record. I'm just gonna stop recording because I don't know where it went on. Okay. Her usual sort of like happy half moon eyes turn into like just a squint line. Uh, Nagamura, Nagamura seems like. So, uh, mm, maybe he said that no too fast. So, Storm, <laughs> we are gonna have to rely on your recording of the session. That's fine. That's fine. I'm just listening to what they're saying. If I have an error in my programming, it should be rectified. Yeah. L listen. Sometimes... Have you heard about the legendary philosopher Bob Ross? <laughs> <laughs> I'm familiar with his work. <laughs> oh yeah, didn't he make the actually little hat? Uh, uh, right, of course. The happy little accent. Terraforming <laughs> android landscape painter. Makes sense. <laughs> Naturally. He was a great source of inspiration. Do you remember do you remember what he used to say about a little tree or a bush? When you make a mistake in a painting, it doesn't have to remain a mistake. Instead, you can treat it as a happy little accident and make it a feature of your landscape painting instead of uh instead of throwing the whole thing away. But I am not a painting. We're all paintings, and our lives and our actions are the ink. Wait, what? On paint? <laughs> <laughs> what I'm trying uh, to say is, well, it would be if, more I'm not saying there's an error, but if there was, if there's a way to fix the error, but maybe it was meant to happen. And it's certainly more productive for the overall plan of the well-being of Ralkalum and its inhabitants if at least one of the androids here isn't in hibernation, don't you agree? I am not authorized to make that sort of call. Well, don't worry, I am. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you did remember you did designate me or whatever, right? <laughs> so for the time being, we'll keep an eye on your uh your communications error. And if we ever judge it that it might be beneficial to the operations of maintaining Ralkalum that the error be rectified, we will find a, that way and rectify it. Okay. All uh, right. Whew, sweating. Sweating puts away his gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Are we still going to activate the drones? Yeah, sure. This is your home now, buddy. And <laughs> I put it, put him. The holster's nice and warm. <laughs> you know, like, it's like getting wrapped in a bl it's like making yourself a burrito on a cold day in a sleeping bag it's just like whoop that's a way to put it <laughs> yeah wrapping yourself in the blankets all the way around I will scoot around to one of the terminals in order to pull up the surface drones. Where should power be diverted from? What are the <laughs> options? Well, currently the main generator is offline, so the backup generator will have to be tapped into in order to power the drones. At least for their initial <laughs> setup. They should be po solar powered after that? Do we need to repair the... Do we need to attempt to repair the power source? Uh, yeah. Good. It's not here, though. Did, no, didn't you mention that there was... 
there's a backup generator inside this giant vault, but then there's yeah. also like a power station that powers this entire giant facility, and that's mm -hmm. offline. Well, we can f let's find out. <clears throat> let's at least try to get the backup because we can access the backup right now. Yeah, I mean, you could just turn off the emergency lights if you don't mind walking along catwalk catwalks hundreds of feet in the air and complete darkness. <laughs> I just take my pit boy, I mean my watch, <laughs> and I turn the light on. I just take my pit boy, I mean my Omnitrix, I mean my watch. <laughs> Diverting emergency lighting. Ooh, whoop. I, I go out and I immediately yell, Fleetwood! Echo oh yeah, where is Fleetwood? Wait, why is it? Why wasn't he yeah. with you, Sullius? Our, uh, accidentally landed on him. <laughs> it pulls him out of his ass where he's been stuck for <laughs> <laughs> So no, Fleetwood, of... Fleetwood no. has uh, been across the bridge cradled up in the fetal position not knowing where anybody is and has oh, just been am... has just been rocking <laughs> to be clear uh, we're openly speaking 35 feet away from him I know <laughs> I he doesn't remember the, the last minute and then <laughs> last thing he knew Solius had landed on him and walked away <laughs> And then everything goes completely dark. Yeah, and all the emergency lighting, like the terrifying red emergency lighting comes up. And he's just sitting there alone, just whimpering. He's like, I'm so scared. And then you hear something loud banging to Towards you, that's all he's just bonk, running bonk, down. On the corrugated metal. Conk, 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 conk. Fleetwood! It's not even a pretty cry either. It's ugly crying. <laughs> I, I yeah. grab him. I, I, I pick him up by, <laughs> by like, the armpits and start to shake him. <laughs> I'm in hell. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm right here. I know. <laughs> Out. <laughs> We're back. The fact that he would associate hell with Solius, but he. And it's all industrial and clanky. By the way, I got a new hammer. Great. We're still in hell. Now we're in a factory where... That, uh... Where, uh... Our robot friend got, got upgraded. And so did my hammer. And also Nakamura's gun now talks. You're not convincing me. I'm not in hell. <laughs> <laughs> no way. I mean, that would be just wonky if a doom portal just opened up behind <laughs> <laughs> See? More proof! <laughs> no, no. No, this, no, the fucking Doctor Strange portal starts, starts opening up and you see Thanos. Young Fleetwood Coon. <laughs> Nakamura, you're in hell too? Your sensei has been in hell for a long time. Yeah. Fuck. Well, we still have to make the most of it. Now get on your feet. Fleetwood kind of looks over at Solius to put him down. Can you put him on the floor? Uh, you want to you want to explain what happened to you back there? You grew to four times your size, and your hair was very long. You tell you me, I don't remember. You were very long and disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> Those I... are not the ways of Neo Bushida. I don't remember. 
held on to Tally because we were telling. I looked back at Tally. I'm a Bushido reformist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I remember. Oh, now Bushido, I remember. Bushido, I'm... Protestant Bushido. Yeah, Protestant Bushido. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, wait. The, Bushido, the Samurai Reformation. Oh, wait. I now remember where I hear. Where I've heard that term. You tell me he's he goes to nail <laughs> thesis on dojo walls. <laughs> it goes through instantly because the walls are paper. <laughs> uh, my friend, my friend Finny used to used to say that all the time. He used to tell everyone that he's full of bushido. <laughs> Though I think he may have mispronounced it because it sounds bushido. Bushido. <laughs> Fleetwood wipes away his tears and a little better seeing a familiar face. A second familiar face. A second familiar face. Oh, there's another lightning strike. Okay. Here it comes. Okay. But yeah, Fleetwood is just like, I, I don't remember a goddamn thing, Nakamura. We were just teleported and then I woke up like. Ten feet over there. He just kind of points to the end of the other side. Uh, I hope that never happens again. Like my college days that I never had. Cause I'm <laughs> poor as fuck. Hey, you can go to college when you're poor as fuck. It just means you're in debt <laughs> forever. <laughs> I.e. <eat> college. <laughs> Oh, us are doing college course. Fuck, thank you. <laughs> I, I stopped doing college like Smart a few man. years ago. It just was not for me. Well, well what now? What do we do? How do we get out of here? What, what are we doing here? The games have been activated. I can return at any time. Oh. Mm. Okay. Shall I give you orders to assist with the farming efforts? Do we want to attempt? Do do can the drones attempt to repair the backup generator? Those would be different types of drones. Um, these are all terraforming drones, yeah. Yes, those on the upper levels are terraforming drones. Wait, what about my little my little <laughs> drone buddies that were collecting silver ship? Those were also a different kind of drone. Damn it! Right, can well, we let's get all hold hands and teleport back then, I guess. Wait, can we get those, uh... Air for deconstruction? Can we get those, uh, drones from, from there to come here to... to get the stuff from here and bring it to our place? Okay, I don't really care. I don't know, I thought there might be some stuff we won't be interested in here. <coughs> the majority of what is stored in here are fellow androids. And is they it? should probably not be removed from storage. I think I saw something over that way. Points. Oh. Points this way. Oh. But itchy. We can continue looking around if you desire. Uh, I have to go AFK for a little bit. You guys do what you would like to do. I will be right back. I'm going to only explore the small poetry. Just assume I'm Nakamura is willing to cooperate with whatever you guys decide to do. Okay. Ah, uh, so Nakamura, can you give me? Can you give me 500 gold? <laughs> <laughs> no, because we use credits here. Okay, can you give me 500 credits? No, because you're a bull. <laughs> it gives you a small amount that you think is 500 credits, but you kind of can't count. <laughs> <laughs> Dogecoin. Uh, <laughs> bull coin. coin. Worth half a credit. No, it's Bushido coin. Dogecoin. The Electrum <laughs> of Rokalum. <laughs> Not very often used. 
So I like to invest my all my stocks in Dogecoin, aka Electrum. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, Solita's is going to suggest we search around a bit more because we we've only searched a small portion of this place. And looking for the map, there seems to be a bit more. You're one that robot, aren't you? You're I I kind of want to check out that fucking mech. You want that big power armor? All right. I mean, Fleetwood is just kind of kind of huddled next to Tally at this moment. He is just like scared out of his mind. I'm guessing the red lighting is still here. Uh, the yep. emergency lighting. He's just kind of yeah. huddled next to Tally, who probably looks terrifying, counter glowing. In in with red eyes as well. <laughs> red eyes are teal. Excuse you. Uh, like, <laughs> that's not what the that's not what the image on the map says. <laughs> oh, look at her little face. Look at her image on the on the map. Oh yeah, her the on the map her eyes are like crazy red. That's her battles, right? Her eyes oh. are normally <laughs> I know I'm joking. <laughs> I, I think I might know a shortcut. So, one of her extendo arms just sort of stretches down and gently pats him on the head. Hey, uh I am glad that you have returned to your mother self. I'm not a werewolf now. Hey, uh, Katanian, I... Oh. Would you like to view a recording of your previous behavior? I didn't... I didn't turn into a werewolf, did I? Would you like to view a recording of your previous behavior? Uh... Uh... Sure. Uh, her face screen will blank out and then turn into a video of her perspective of him from earlier. <laughs> it's an actual perspective or is, or is it like, or is it like a video? Oh god. What have I become? Very loud. I mean sexist, yeah, but I mean there's no denying the fact that I am powerful, and as a bonus action, he returns to giant size. <laughs> oh God! I can't wait for us to have to have a mega battle after this, and you waste all your giant might. <laughs> I uh, got I think I know which locks the door to the upgrades room. <laughs> Hey, uh, Catanian, I think I know a shortcut. Oh, yeah? Yeah, watch. Do -do -do. Oh, no. Walks, walks over to here, and it's going to jump up, because, fun fact, I have I have a jump height of uh, 15.2 feet off the ground. That's a huge. So I could jump up to here. What, not even a 20-foot vertical leap? Uh... Long jump, I have 15 feet. I said vertical, not horizontal. Uh, it says you can reach up and grab something up to 15.2 feet off the ground. You gotta remember that jumping is not that that I good know, in the it's a meme. Ah. I didn't know. Yeah, so I just jump up onto here. Okay. Uh, Granny, you want to come up? I'll go around. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just starts walking down this way. Don't break anything. I won't try to. Yes. But yeah, I'm going to walk over to that robot. Woo. Same, it just takes me a little while longer. <laughs> Alright, so uh, essentially this uh, thing 
In terms of what it looks like on the map, at least from my perspective, it looks like that thing from uh, Alien 1, that little, uh, that building. I, I that think thing. that's oh, what it's supposed to be. Number two? Yep. You mean the, uh, the power loader? Yeah, the power loader. Yeah. So I'm just gonna try to get in it. There's no way you fit in there, that's for a normal human person. I'm just bulkier than a normal human person, but I'm still gonna try. Yeah, step okay. away from her, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna try to get as as Cartanian is trying to is coming around. I'm going. I'm going to try to get in this thing. Uh, I'm not even sure what kind of role that would be. <laughs> I love to be honest. overly casual alien lines. A dexterity check. <laughs> That's what I was kind of thinking too, but... Sure, let's go with the dexterity. I think that makes the most sense, I guess. Why does Ami fold yourself real small? Huh. Think small thoughts. <laughs> small thoughts, small thoughts. Eleven. <laughs> oh man, that is a tight fit. <laughs> You're it's just so good. You get in, but you can't turn around to reach the controls. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> You kind of get like you're I'll almost... get Winnie the Pooh stuck in here. Yeah, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, ass oh, out. Bother. <laughs> oh bother! Help! Help! Except it just comes out of. Help! Help! I'm stuck, step bro. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, no, not that. <laughs> not, not that. Anything but that. <laughs> my character is the one walking him. <laughs> I'm stuck, Step Silver. <laughs> <sighs> Finally comes around. Silver, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, what's happening? Is that you? Uh, Uh, I found a school new robot, and I told it to touch it up, but uh, there's a new challenge. Didn't I tell you something specifically about uh, not breaking things? I did, I did. You broke yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, but I still have a cool new robot. Uh, there's no way I'm pulling you out of there, so maybe I'll find some, like, axle grease or something around here. Can I try my hands around the mech just to see what the fuck happens? Uh, roll another dexterity check to see if we can, like, slip and slide your way through this, I guess. Otherwise, that's <laughs> for if I can search the area for something to... Uh oh. Reef them out. Oh my god. <laughs> You're making your own situation worse every time you squirm. <laughs> just like, oh no. <laughs> you are now upside down. <laughs> oh no. How? <laughs> Meanwhile, uh. You then say. Yeah, I think it makes enough sense that an area like this would have, uh. We find grease. a barrel of industrial lubricant. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> hey. Hey, Tanya, as you're looking, you just you just hear a you hear a. <laughs> Did I just sit down to I, industrial I, lubricant? Yes. I now see an upside down soleus inside of the neck. If you fail one more dexterity check, I'm praying that the whole thing just tips over on top of you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm now in this. I'm now in this thing. So let's see if I, if I can try it. I can make another dexterity check if that's okay. Sure. <laughs> even less. Even less. Even <laughs> less. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. You know what? I'll say the this with the it. with the help of uh, uh Catanian getting that uh nice looper hint <laughs> and uh. <laughs> Squeezing it up real good and getting it at all the right places. Uh, we'll say uh, you managed to adjust yourself properly in the uh, mech. You're lubed up and ready for action. <laughs> all right, 
I'm all oiled up and I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Uh, I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> Still. I want to try to drive this thing. Still sit in the corner. <laughs> well, well, I mean, roll an intelligence check. I mean, that's the uh, sad oh, part. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, not even, that's not even that bad. Um, you kind you of know. figure out, like, oh, if I move my hands, like, it'll, like, move, like, with the, like, attaching it to, like, the arm parts, like, underneath it, like, oh, it'll move, like, the arm parts, like, you figure, like, out the basics of it, kinda. I start blaming the, <laughs> the hydraulic hands at, at, uh, at Cartanian. Hey, look, I can draw this thing! Okay, have fun. Not my problem anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now going to get a thirty minimum thirty foot fa safe distance. <laughs> yeah, you don't know much. what I'm doing. Uh huh. That's what I'm more afraid of. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying. I'm saying. Oh, wait, is Fleetwood <laughs> big again? Yeah. Yeah. Ellie yes. showed her a video. Showed him a video of what happened before, and then he transformed again. <laughs> And now he's like face to face with Tally, like like Mama didn't teach him to not sit too close to the TV, enthralled by his own physique. He mm. turns off the feed and starts backing away on the bridge. <laughs> no, my muse, my flame. <laughs> I could have been comfortable. Please stand in front of me, and she goes. <laughs> 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 I'm going to create um an echo fragment that <laughs> How will I ever find such a beautiful face again? Pulls out a mirror and stares deeply into his reflection. <laughs> That's more like it. All right. So, do you think we should go make sure Solius and Vexpear aren't uh, getting into trouble, or, uh, you know, just you're really be anywhere other than here? You're Considering you have all already destroyed several pieces of equipment, I think that would be wise. You then hear a metal clank from where Solius is. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, dear. As I am trying to walk with this mech. Silver walks fast. You're for your worst deal of fears have been realized. Uh, <laughs> I'll just get out like a fuck. <laughs> I'll just get you a random robot to like freaking use. Uh, yeah, because this is this is obviously it's part, part of the map. Of the map yeah, so. <laughs> uh, I know it's. You might think. Uh, give me a second. Fuck it, I'll... Let's get this one. Uh, how do I download this? Oh, there it is. Fleetwood is. He's looking at his own... Uh, oh. Here, Tom, use this. Let's Just see. add this to roll 20. Let's see. Where do I want to put this so I know where to look? Put that over there. Hey. And I'm going to the ding. Hey, robot, or like a new weapon to use. I know it's not made as a weapon, but still. Uh, don't yeah, worry, baby. Going. I'll never let anyone hurt you. Oh, you're such a sweetheart. Tosses the mirror over his shoulder. How, how far does this thing move with my intelligence check? Hold on. I'm still grabbing the image. It's going to take a few seconds. <laughs> This is amazing. Could you also give me permission to, like, control it and stuff like that? Yeah, as soon as I, uh, throw it on there. Oh. I'm sorry I'm being a bit of a goblin right now. You're fine. It's funny. Let's see. I'll never forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> you killed my dad. I'll never. You need to make it a 4x4. Four four. 
Hold on, I gotta do it this way. Uh, you can also give it a character voice, sheet, so honestly, we can just like, drag it out. Ever. Like, it's, it's, it's funny to me. I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, do that. <clears throat> hey. Hey, uh... Hey, Storm. Yeah? I now have a mega deuce. Oh, more like a mini deuce. <laughs> it's a mini know. mega deuce. <laughs> it's a neck. It's a meh a deuce. All right, you should be able to control it yeah. right now. Uh, I would also say maybe a character. I, I would say maybe also making a character sheet for it, just so you can save like the token. I'll do it later. Uh, just give me a second. Uh, so Tally, you s if you are walking to me, also how far can I move this thing? Uh, roll a strength check. Oh, okay. I'm good at those. <laughs> <laughs> Not this. Wow, time. what are these oh, rolls? Oh, 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 you see, you, for the first time in a long time, you you get you uh with this added bulk armor on top of you, you're just like, holy crap, this is actually a lot more uh, I, strained than you're used to. I'm just like, I can do it while you're squirming around in there. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I just go, I can do it, I can do it, and I'm raging to try to do it again. <laughs> with advantage. Oh no, that is the worst idea. This is what happens when you when you resort to brute strength instead of settling on your intelligence and your dexterity. I, I know. Please cease. You are not powerlifter certified. This is a severe OSHA violation. Alright, with seventeen, you're able to lift your legs up with a bit more oomph now that you're getting the the feeling of that extra weight beneath you. So you're able to move it now. Yeah, so, Tal, you just see me walking. So what is the movement speed, really quick? Uh, we'll say this thing is a little bit slow, so, like, if it were in combat, it'd be, like, feet? moving it, yeah, 20 feet, probably, be like, the... So you just see this thing moving forward with Solius in the cockpit. Please cease! You are not certified to operate this heavy machinery! I'm using it just on... Clank! Clank! Please do not! That Mr. is not authorized! Mr. Solius, do you think you can properly handle that equipment without breaking things? No. Answer honestly! Of course I can! Alright, well, I trust him. I grant <laughs> you authorization by the power <laughs> invested in me. He's not been through the appropriate training courses. <laughs> <laughs> Acknowledged. <laughs> Could you put him through the appropriate training courses right now? Do you want to go and do that? Oh boy. Solius okay. Goes, Solius goes she... to the DMV with with Tally. <laughs> she steps up and her face becomes a cut. A becomes a touch screen of operating power lifter. This course will take 18 hours to complete. <laughs> All right, well, let's get started. I, press a I, I look for an uh, so you Please watch all of the following videos and then fill out the questionnaires. Oh, a score of above 80% is required for authorization certificate. Solius may not be able to read, but he knows how to, how to tell one thing from from uh, technology, Oof. where the speed button is. That is real thunder in the background. Yeah, Ooh. I heard that. Okay. Yeah. Was well, that from mine? So I start turning. No, uh, I mine. start turning up the oh. speed to one, to one point five. Okay. How about this? I will operate the thing for him, and if there's anything that needs to be read, I'll read it aloud for him. <laughs> and then we will spend the next eighteen hours. <laughs> because that's what you came up with, cat. 
then it's not all supposed to be done in one sitting. <laughs> well, how about this? I'm going to grant him temporary authorization, and we'll work on this over time. Let's do the first little lesson now. The video on Operation Safety. <laughs> So you want we watch an episode an, a, a video about operation safety of these forklift machines. Lock out, tag out. Skip the lock out, tag out. Skip the lock out, tag out. <laughs> if this thing breaks, we're not fixing it. Skip the lock out, tag out. That's a lot of uh, smiling people in jumpsuits slowly demonstrating the uh, safety guides of like buckling the seat belts and. <laughs> Alright, you know what? We're gonna have a montage! <laughs> montage! I, I like That's to think we only spend video. like an hour. When we, we're not gonna do the whole uh, 18... The, the whole... whole, the whole. Yeah, it's like 25 minutes. <laughs> there you go. I play Kate Tally by showing him a 25 minute safety video. And the I promise assume. that he's going to watch the others later. I assume the following quiz he mostly answers for to his audience. <laughs> he should have to roll. He should have to roll, or uh, or uh, alternatively, you actually Google up a safety quiz and make him do it. No, I, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to say right now, he gets a 1%. Somehow he gets a 1%. What question it is? You don't fucking... It's... You don't know. <laughs> The only way you could get a 1% is by knowing all of the right answers and purposely avoiding them. Oh, you know what? Sure. We'll roll a d20 to figure out. Do you want me to roll a d20 intelligence or just a spot d20 with its advantage to see what I get? I think it would be an intelligence roll. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. I believe in you. Now, remember, I'm coaching you. you ha I'm helping you. If you're yeah. reading all the questions for him and saying the correct answers with a lot of emphasis. <laughs> this one will be higher. This one will be higher. Come on, sweet one. Oh, you're giving me advantage? Yeah, I'm helping you. Ho, 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 ho. Air walking on air. Nope. <laughs> Some things are set in stone. <laughs> so you have failed the safety manual quiz. Please retake at a later date. So he looks at looks at you, uh looks at you looks at you, uh, Fleetwood and just goes, I don't know it all to go. Please step oh. out of this vehicle. You are not authorized to operate this vehicle within thirty feet of the nuclear depository. <laughs> <laughs> so is just uh, well, you see, there's a problem with that. I'm a bit stuck. Well, is that so, big man? Conserve that tin can. <laughs> oh, no! Good. No! All right. I'm in my arms! <laughs> Fleetwood is I'm gonna. No! Fleetwood is gonna pull him out. No! I want to stay in! I'll learn! Within advantage. Can I resist with an Aflex roll as well? Sure. 20. <laughs> Raging! Oh my gosh. He wants to say in this! <clears throat> Wait, oh. wh why did it not roll with advantage? I put on the face. Roll that second That's, time. Don't worry, this one this one will be better. Three threes in a row. Will we get another three? Oh, uh, we oh dead no, even. You do, not, you do not beat. I give Meets beats. I give Fleet with the help action. <laughs> he already had advantage. Meets beats. That's true. If it meets it does beat. Oh, I'm saying sorry. I expend a luck. <laughs> <laughs> no way, that's about as high as I can get it, actually. Is that yeah. that? <laughs> Three! 
I grabbed no, it. I'm joining <laughs> in. Let's go. Uh, Falcon loaded. Oh my god. <laughs> that doesn't mean auto success, though. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Okay, you pulled me out. The old man <laughs> pulls him out. I take him by the ear. <laughs> oh. And just <laughs> no. Already. Step okay, out of the uh, robot. Okay, if I can't drive it right now, can I at least take it with me? Absolutely. Yay! Well, there are kind of check as you exited out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to. I am. By the way, I'm going to say right now, I am so worried that our ghost in the machine is going to try to take over this thing. <clears throat> you all watch as this uh, huge, gigantic machine shrinks down into and wraps around uh, your arm, uh, it, and it fits like a glove now, as it's like attached to wait, your whose arm? Little, your arm. <laughs> Would you say, is, is it, like, briefcase size and attached to his forearm, or, like, no, literally like a glove? No, it's, around my arm. Or is it, like, a whole robot arm? Power glove. Yeah, I'll say it's, a, like, a power glove, essentially. Eh. The, it's so bad. Something, something, King Kong power glove. Okay, you and I were <laughs> on the exact same page. <laughs> I don't know yeah. what you're talking about, but I'm I'm referencing the wizard. Yeah, oh, I... you should watch uh, Godzilla <laughs> and uh, or... But also, I went and saw that movie with my friend. We were so hyped for Mothra. So, what should I write in my freaking inventory now? Uh, I guess Mecha Arm. Mecha. <laughs> Big <laughs> ass Mecha. B A M. Big ass Bama. And no, uh, I is. also think this is a great place to uh, end this session. <laughs> I'm sorry if I was being That's, a bit of a goblin. Let's, let, let's teleport Ooh, back okay. back yeah. out. Can we end post teleportation? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so you're going back to the other facility then. Well, same facility, just the first floor. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Uh, where is it? Uh, let's see, I have so many things what? now. Tech, tech as far as I know, this is not considered armor. A negative 900th floor. <laughs> yeah, would it be considered like a vehicle? Yeah. Huh. You so my, my barbarian... you should say for this. <laughs> what did you oh, say? Oh, weird. Um, I don't see the banner thing. Uh, let me refresh. Hold on. What'd you say, uh... Cap? You do not have vehicle proficiency for this power armor. <laughs> I will get- I will get proficiency. He's going to- he's going to be forklift certified. <laughs> <laughs> the, the title yes. of this- the title of this episode has to be Soleus Batterhorn is not forklift certified. <laughs> so that later, we can <laughs> finally- way later on we can finally do an episode that's titled Soleus Batterhorn is forklift certified. Uh oh. I have a uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. I on roll twenty, I don't see the the banner it usually has to like move you guys on the map thing for some reason. Are you on a folder? Uh, no, I have like it's showing me all the maps. Can you map. screen share really quick? Oh wait, no, I, never mind, never mind. Oh no, you you don't want him to do that. He'll crash. Oh, true. <laughs> never <laughs> mind. I just I was being stupid. I was looking at the wrong. Also, thing. I love the idea that. That, uh, during the certification test, Sully's is just gonna take it so much. He memorizes where where the correct answers are. He doesn't know that they are the correct answers. He just memorizes where they are. The answers order are randomized for the multiple choice. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like the regular God. DMV test. Sully is Batterhorn is for yeah. Lutzer. It will happen one day, but not today. Today, Solius Batterhorn is yeah. not forklift so, certified. So here, here's the title. Reading. Then, the world! <laughs> <laughs>
You're gonna have to teach Solius how to read. Nice. I'm, I'm sorry to hear uh, whoever has to endeavor. Ravik, you got it. What, what, no, no, no. <laughs> he can go to school with all the kids at uh, <gasps> at Neverland. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> He's already the PE teacher though. The teacher the has teacher. become the student. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to post an art real quick. The little floaty dude. Oh, so, oh, so uh. Art. I love the power glove. It's, it's so, so bad. bad. The oh, little so, uh, floaty dudes are what the uh, terraforming drones that got activated look like. And they're just sort of like swarming around like little bees. Oh, they're adorable! They're so round! Also, yes. here you They can... do not have the angry eyes. They have Tally's same happy eye shape. Oh, I see the little bot uh, thing. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, cool. no, wait. I, I it meant looks like that. looks like a cross uh, between Eevee from. Oh, God, from uh, Wally. Wally? And Weebo from Flubber. Wow. Yay. <laughs> oh. No, I meant that uh, Tom gave me uh, a uh, sheet that actually said pot. Uh, was there, there any added thing to that? Batterhorn is not certified. Uh, no, I, I have to. No, no, yeah. It's not forklift so, certified. <laughs> Yeah, I want this. Hold on. Here, I, I, here I it is. No, no, no. I have the top. I have how it should be written out. Not in parentheses. Alrighty. So that way I'll remember. What do you think? In parentheses? <laughs> sure. Oh wait, does YouTube do parentheses? I forget. Oh yeah. yeah, it does. Yeah, it does literally every character. And then we will we will say, all right, well, let's head back to. I guess we need to head to the city. We need to deal with this. Mer if these mercenaries are gonna keep pounding us, we need to do something about it. <clears throat> we also need to drag the doors back open and free the drones. Yes. Do it. So that is where we will pick up next time? Yes. Excellent. Alrighty. Oh, in three, two, one. <laughs>